the roll. Allen, Anderson, Bates, Bell, Berryhill, Block, Canella, De Leon, Fuller, Gaines, Galjoni, Glazer, Hall, Hancock, Hernandez, Hertzberg, Hill, Hueso, Huff, Jackson, Lada, Leno, Leva, Lou, McGuire, Mendoza, Mitchell, Monning, Morlock, Morell, Wynn, Nilsson, Pan, Pavley, Roth, Runner, Stone, Bidak, Wachowski, Wolf. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. The Secretary notices that we are absent a quorum. Would the members please come to the Senate chamber, Senate session to commence at 9 a.m. All senators please to the Senate floor. All senators, please, to the Senate floor. All senators to the Senate floor for our 9 a.m. session.
Allen, Anderson, Bates, Bell, Berryhill, Block, Canella, DeLeon, Fuller, Gaines, Galgiani, Glazer, Hall, Hancock, Hernandez, Hertzberg, Hill, Hueso, Huff, Jackson, Lada, Leno, Leva, Lou, McGuire, Mendoza, Mitchell, Monning, Morlock, Morell, Wynn, Nilsson, Pan, Pavley, Roth, Runner, Stone, Vidak, Wykowski, Wolk.
Would the members, members, we have a quorum. Would all our members and guests be on the rail and in the gallery please rise? We will be led in prayer this morning by our chaplain, Sister Michelle Gorman, after which, please remain standing. We will be led in the Pledge of Allegiance by Senator Mitchell. And let us center ourselves in God's holy presence. The following short poem is by Mary Oliver, Song of the Builders. On a summer morning, I sat down on a hillside to think about God, a worthy pastime. Near me, I saw a single cricket. It was moving the grains on the hillside, this way and that way. How great was its energy, how humble its effort. Let us hope it will always be like this each of us going on in our inexplicable ways, building the universe. Creator of mystery and wonder, grant that this day we may go about our work with the humble effort of the cricket and the joy of being human. We ask this in your name, amen. Thank you, sister. Under privileges of the floor, under privileges of the floor, privileges of the floor, Senator Pan. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Madam President, uh, members. Uh, I want to take this moment uh, to introduce uh, Rachel Hughes, Program Coordinator, and Nicole Forsyth, Executive Director of Red Rover, located in my district, who are visiting the state capitol today. Founded in 1987, the mission of Red Rover is to bring animals out of crisis and to strengthen the bond between people and animals through emergency sheltering, disaster relief services, financial assistance, and education. Red Rover accomplishes its mission by engaging volunteers and supporters, collaborating with others, and maximizing the use of online technology. Currently, Red Rover is working with California legislators to make this month, January 2016, Pet Care Education Month. And you'll be hearing about this uh, later from me later at a later session. In addition to the resolution throughout January, they will be working with uh, veterinary offices, organizations, and supporters to help spread the word about the importance of preventative health care for pets. Please give a warm welcome, a warm Senate welcome to these uh, wonderful people who are uh, helping us with our pets. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for your service. Colleagues, we are going to go to reports of committee. Reports of committee, Mr. Secretary, please read. Madam President, the Committee on Rules has re-referred the following bill to committee to Natural Resources and Water, Senate Bill 380. Under motions, resolutions, and notices, Senator Pavley. I request unanimous consent to waive Joint Rule 62A so SB 380 may be heard and reported in Natural Resources and Water and Appropriations without the four and two days notice in the daily file. Without objection, that will be the order. Senator Pavley. Uh, I was going to announce that the Natural Resources and Water Committee will convene in room 3191 immediately in order to hear just one bill, Senate Bill 380. Very good, that will be the order, 3191 for All right, we will uh, commence that meeting forthwith. Immediately upon conclusion of that committee, the Appropriations Committee will be meeting off the floor to consider that bill. 
Colleagues, those on the Natural Resources Committee, there is a committee hearing in room 3191 forthwith. Senator Monning. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam President. Would just urge members who aren't participating in those committees uh, not to stray. We are going to be back here shortly uh, to continue with the day's business. So, uh, members, please stay close to the Senate floor. Senator Lara. Madam President, just for a purpose of announcement, uh, Senate appropriations will meet upon adjournment of natural resources. Thank you, Senator Lara. Appropriations to meet uh, immediately upon adjournment by the Natural Resources Committee. Okay. Colleagues, we're going to go back to privileges of the floor. Senator Hancock, if you wish to proceed. Senator Hancock. Thank you very much, Madam President. Uh, members, I'm excited Thank to you. be able to introduce to you today one of my constituents, members. Thank you. Uh, I'm really happy to be able to introduce to you today one of my constituents, Jennifer Joint, who was selected as one of the 2015 uh, Wildlife Photo of the Year winner. This is an award that is given by the Department of Fish and Game and their Outdoor California Magazine and California Watchable Wildlife. It's sponsored by the Sierra Nevada Conservancy and the Coastal Conservancy. It is an award to acknowledge the outstanding photographs that illustrate California's diverse wildlife and natural habitat. Uh, you will, in a moment, see this beautiful photograph. Jennifer is an independent health consultant and wildlife photographer uh, based in Berkeley. She holds a BA from Princeton University. Um, her work has appeared in the San Francisco Chronicle, Bay Nature Magazine, and uh, many other publications. So, her specialty is the American pika, and it was a photo taken at Yosemite National Park of the American Pipe Pika at Gaylor Lake. So please join me in congratulating Jennifer Joint for her artistic work and for winning this prestigious award. Congratulations to Jennifer, and thank you, Senator Hancock. Members, we are going to proceed forward as natural resources meets. Are there any other privileges of the floor? Seeing, seeing none, messages from the governor will be deemed read. Messages from the assembly will be deemed read. We are now moving to motions, resolutions, and notices. Without objection, the Senate journals for January 25th through January 28th will be approved as corrected by the minute clerk. Introductions and first readings of bills. Mr. Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 923 by Senator Hernandez, an act relating to health care coverage. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Bills are deemed read. Members, we're going to move to the consideration of the daily file. Unfinished business, business item 44. Senator Runner, are you prepared? Yes. Mr. Secretary, please read. Senate Concurrent Resolution 88 by Senator Runner relative to Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Thank you, Madam President and members. Um, we, uh, in California, have a human trafficking problem. Uh, this crime is happening in our smaller communities as well as the bigger cities. Wherever there are those who are vulnerable, there are those who prey upon them. The trafficking problem in the state of California is not due to lack of care and compassion, but a lack of awareness. SCR 88 will change that. It will give us an entire month each and every year to focus on this crime against our most vulnerable, mostly children. 
and young adults. This issue is one of the most unifying social justice issues of our time. When citizens learn of this evil, they collectively raise their voices and declare, not in my city and not in my state. We can be proud in California because we lead the nation in arrests of those who would sell another human being for a profit, and we lead the nation in the recovery of our most vulnerable victims. On January 11th, we stood together and honored the efforts of Courage Worldwide and Courage House that is located here in Sacramento. Um, as they not only work tirelessly to bring nationwide attention to this heartbreaking reality, but also provided needed resources, restoration, and homes for the victims of sex trafficking. Now is the time to lead the nation in helping victims of this horrible crime rebuild their lives. Let's stand together and say, not in my city and not in my state. I'd ask for an I vote. Thank you, Senator Runner. Members, is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Excuse me, Mr. Secretary, Senator Gaines. Thank you, Madam President. Um, just wanted to thank uh, Senator Runner for bringing this forward and uh, the efforts of uh, uh, Courage, Courage Worldwide and the things that they're doing to uh, eradicate human trafficking uh, around the world, but ironically, uh, right here in Sacramento. And there have been great efforts uh, by the faith-based community in stamping this out. Um, my church uh, has done a tremendous amount of work in Cambodia where young girls are putting, being put into the sex trade. And we've been working with the uh, law authorities in Cambodia and they are arresting uh, the men that are seeking these services and making great strides. So uh, there, there's hope for the future, uh, hope for these young women uh, who are being exploited in terrible ways, and uh, thank you for bringing this forward. Urge and I vote. Thank you, Senator Gaines. Senator Renner, would you like to close? Uh, yes, please. Uh, we, we were able to uh, actually have it over on the floor in the assembly uh, to add joint authors to it, so every uh, member has done that. Uh, I do have somebody from uh, Courage Worldwide here I'd like to, like to introduce. She's the community, community relations director and uh, her name is Stephanie Midtoon. Uh, she's right here in the back waving. Uh, and I would uh, thank you for your efforts and uh, look forward to working together. And uh, again, it's in small communities and large communities as well. So uh, I would ask for an I vote. Thank you, Senator Runner. And maybe we'll do introductions when we're not doing a bill, but thank you. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Anderson. Aye. Aye. Bates. Aye. Aye. Bell. Aye. Aye. Berryhill. Aye. Aye. Block. Aye. Aye. Canella. Aye. Aye. De Leon. Aye. Aye. Fuller. Aye. Aye. Gaines. Aye. Aye. Galgioni. Aye. Aye. Glazer. Aye. Aye. Hall. Aye. Aye. Hancock. I Hernandez, I Hertzberg, Hill, I Hueso, Huff, Jackson, Lada, I Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Monning, Morlock, I Morrell, I Wynn, I Nilsson. I Pan, I Pavley, Roth, I Runner, I Stone, Vidak, Vikowski, I Walk. Runner moves the call. Mr. Secretary, excuse me. <laughs> Members, we are moving on to item 45, Senator Bates. Mr. Secretary, please read. Please proceed, Senator Bates. Senate Resolution 55 by Senator Bates relative to Drug Facts Week. Please proceed. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, SR 55 recognizes the importance of drug 
Facts Week, a national awareness week created to bring together teens and scientific experts to provide teens with the vital information about drug abuse and addiction. It is crucial that we do all we can to address substance abuse at the appropriate time in young people's lives. We have the paramount responsibility to ensure that California's youth have every opportunity to be safe, healthy, and led <clears throat> and lead productive and successful lives. By educating our youth on the dangers of drug abuse, we can ensure that they have the necessary tools to make the best choices. And I think we all know that drug abuse among our young uh, is unfortunately prevalent. In my own district, uh, over the last four or five years, we've lost a number of uh, young uh, people to overdoses. So um, for the reasons that I've stated, I ask that you join me in recognizing the week of January 25th through the 31st as Drug Facts Week and respectfully urge your I vote. Thank you, Senator Bates. Senator Gaines. Great. Thank you, Madam President. I just uh, want to thank my colleague from Laguna Nigel. Uh, for bringing this forward. Uh, in my district, we lost an outstanding young man named Connor Eckert, who died tragically after using synthetic marijuana a single time. Uh, I didn't really know about the dangers of this drug before hearing his story, but it's tearing through our communities and ending young lives. I don't know how many people understand how totally unpredictable and hazardous this drug can be. Education can help everyone with the life-affirming decision to stay away from drugs, but it's especially important that we arm our young men and women with the information they need to stay strong against temptation. I don't want to see any more heartbreaking losses in my community or anywhere else in this state. And when we take a look at the rules and regulations for bringing synthetic marijuana into the U.S., uh, it's lacking. There's, there's a lot of holes and uh, the makers of these, um, these products uh, are very clever in changing the product mix uh, so they're still able to be imported and sold right across the counter at your local uh, store, which is incredible. So um, I want to again thank uh, my colleague for bringing this forward and support the effort. Thank you, Senator Gaines. Senator Bates, would you like to close? One moment. Senator Bell. Yeah, I'm kind of hard to see, so. Uh, I want to urge my colleagues to support this resolution. Um, this is a very important thing that we all keep up to speed with all the new, new uh, ways that drug abuse happens in our community. This is very important. And I, wanna, I wanted to uh, report that um, at the Senate uh, Mental Health Caucus, uh, lunch we had with about 14 senators yesterday, we had a, a major discussion and a desire to have scheduled to have some drug experts come in and talk to the Senate, and uh, especially with heroin, um, uh, opiate addiction, and these new synthetic drugs, so we can better understand what kind of policies uh, the legislature needs and the uh, state of California needs to adopt uh, to uh, promote uh, substance abuse prevention. And I urge your support for this resolution. Applaud um, uh, Senator Bates for uh, bringing it to a floor. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Bell. Senator Bates, would you like to close? I just thank the senators for their attention to this very, very serious problem, uh, basically in our nation. I, I believe that evidence is beginning to show that uh, the root of homelessness in our families uh, begins with substance abuse, and it can begin at a very young age. So I appreciate your support and ask for your I vote. Thank you. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Anderson. Aye. Aye. Bates. Bell, Bates, I, Bell, I, Berryhill, I, Block, I, Canella, I, De Leon, I, Fuller, I, Gaines, I, Galgioni, I, Glazer, I, Hall, I, Hancock, I, Hernandez, I, Hertzberg, Hill, I, Hueso, Huff, Jackson, Lada, I, Leno, I, Leva, I, Lou, I, McGuire, I, Mendoza, I, Mitchell, I, Monning, Morlock, I, Morell, 
I win. I Nilsson. I Pan. I Pavley. Roth. I Runner. I Stone. Vidak. Vikowski. I Wolk. Senator Bates moves the call.